where the line crosses in regards to serious and organised crime is, is around the kind of the, the impact that behaviour is having. Um, and one of the main um, antisocial behaviour that my team deals with in regards to serious and organised crime is where we have properties that have been overtaken by drug dealers and the vulnerable tenant inside has been um, what we call cuckooed in regards to they've lost the control of their property. People, and this is not drugs related at all, people have been going into other people's houses, vulnerable people that are under social care, have been, have been stealing their money, stealing their drugs, and making their own shopping lists for their care worker to go and buy what they want to eat rather than what the, the vulnerable victim wants to eat, and these are vulnerable people. So actually with examples of that, I think that's I think that's a real issue for us. Any child is vulnerable just because they're children, young people, uh, but there's additional, um, there's additional vulnerabilities from domestic abuse, from other abuses or, um, or neglect, um, to being looked after, to having a learning disability or a difficulty, um, autism um, um, and, and onwards ASD, all of, the, all of those things can all add vulnerabilities. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not nice. Um, but that's why we need people to be vigilant. We need people to understand what they're seeing and realise that they can tell us and we can do something. Um, and if they don't want to tell us, they can use Crime Stoppers.